in Texas, everything has the right to be open now. Good morning, people of YouTube. This is Cruise Man. Just about to head out, head back home, I should say, from a place you used to see me come to all the time, even though the cars may be blocking all the uh, signs, but I'm actually at Einstein's today, which was my normal morning hangout before they closed up their dining room because of the pandemic and they were one of the last to reopen here in Texas because in Texas everything has the right to be open now they kind of leave it up to the uh, individual businesses and which I'm glad to see um, I'm also happy to report that the numbers of COVID cases are going down in Texas in spite of the fact that we're fully open. I think there's five states where 44% of all of the COVID cases, the new COVID cases are coming from and four of the five are some of the most locked down states. That's a cool looking car. I think it's a McLaren maybe. <clears throat> But the bottom line is I went to Einstein's this morning because sometimes I get up early like at 4 30 5 o'clock in the morning and there's just nowhere else to go and for months or almost actually more than a year now I was actually forced to just make coffee at home hence my coffee maker burning up last week as some of you saw on my uh, coffee and comments video so I've been having coffee at home but I prefer to go out and have coffee where I can sit with my laptop and get some work done I don't really like having coffee at home I like getting up and getting out riding the bike in the morning when it's nice and cool in the summertime and it's a nice day today. It's about 70 degrees outside, even though we're going to be getting some thunderstorms a little bit later on. They're even saying we might get some hail later this afternoon. I like to get up and get out and go have coffee and take my laptop, get some work done. Because I get most of my work done in the mornings. I am at my best before, say, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And... I just have always been more productive early in the day. How many of you out there are like that? Are you early morning people or are you more late night, late afternoon, late night people? I'm kind of a morning person. Let me know in the comments. And for those of you that are new to this mode of vlog and this channel, let me tell you right up front. Uh, my mode of vlogs, I talk about a variety of topics, but usually motorcycle related in some way. Not always, but usually. And I would appreciate it if you take a second to click that little subscribe button down below. If you like motorcycle related content, I think you're going to enjoy it. And if you click on that little bell icon, YouTube will let you know uh, when I come out with some new videos. Now, talking about new videos, I've got a, a new one that should be out today or tomorrow for a new rear saddlebag lighting product from Pathfinder LED. And this is really cool. I installed this on Don Smith's bike. He's kind of my uh, donor bike for a lot of these products. Uh, I use my bike for many of them. Kind of take the attitude that you can't be too rich, you can't be too thin, and you can't have too many lights on your motorcycle. So, I installed these lights. I thought that guy was going to get hit on that bicycle there for a second. I installed these lights last week or this week and they are really cool. They actually replace the bottom portion, the little flat black portion of that rear saddlebag 
cover and they I mean they really did an excellent job as far as the uh, build quality the lights themselves are super bright and they really do stand out and they not only have sequential turn signals built in they have a really cool like a daytime running light or red tail light that's on all the time and then they have uh, the modulating brake lights so that when you hit the brakes it flashes red or flashes the brake lights to uh, really get attention of people behind you so my initial thought was you know they're so low down nobody's gonna see them but the reality is they are they really complement the entire rear end look of the bike I think I mean I really like them I, I've always been a fan of Pathfinder LED lights I've, I've used them on my previous Goldwing my 2012 I had a lot of their products on my uh, 2012 Goldwing I've had have a lot of their products on my 2018 Goldwing and I've always found them to be super reliable uh, I've just never had a reliability issue with anything from Pathfinder LED now to be completely uh, upfront and honest Pathfinder LED is a sponsor uh, they do sponsor the videos that I make for them and uh, so just so you have all the facts you know that that's the case but I honestly uh, do believe in their products I've had nothing but good luck with their uh, their lighting accessories so anyway that video should be up today or tomorrow I hope I'm still waiting for a final approval from Pathfinder LED to release the video we're also also waiting to release the video of their new Pathfinder uh, power accessory hub which is um, kind of a, an isolator you might say for your CAN bus electrical system and I've got it installed on my bike and I've done the video for them but they are having problems as are many companies getting these chips from Japan uh, because of the pandemic a lot of uh, production was shut down or delayed coming out of Japan and this is why uh, we're not seeing uh, you're seeing a shortage of cars uh, and a shortage of motorcycles 2021 gold wings are in short supply and a lot of this is related to the uh, integrated circuit and chip production coming out of Japan being shut down because of COVID and hopefully that's going to rectify itself pretty soon I, I assume also uh, this thing in the Suez Canal may have caused some issues too I know I was supposed to get some new products in from Bon Armor to test and review this week and uh, I contacted uh, Kristen over at Bon Armor and she said that <laughs> their new stuff was on one of those container ships that was supposed to go through the Suez Canal and I don't know if it got rerouted back around the uh, the southern part of Africa which takes a lot more time for the transit so uh, there's been a delay there there are a couple other products that I have supposedly coming in for review soon and testing and I'm anxious to get those videos done I'm also trying to I need to get some new tires put on this bike I'm way overdue uh, I've got about a little over 10,000 miles I think on these tires these are Bridgestones and even though they still have tread on them I just always feel comfortable swapping tires around 10,000 miles and I'm also planning a road trip to go out to West Texas and I just don't feel comfortable getting on the highway for a 650 mile round trip 700 mile round trip on tires with 10,000 miles on them I'd rather go ahead and just get a new set I've got the tires in my garage that I bought uh, online so I just need to load up my trailer take the bike over to one of the local Honda dealers and have them installed now unfortunately for me the person that worked at Maxim Honda that I trusted with my motorcycle 
is gone. He left his job. That's John, who was a senior Goldwing specialist mechanic, had you know been working on Goldwings for 20 years. And he left his position there, and it really threw me for a loop because now I don't know who I'm going to trust to work on my Goldwing. And uh, some of you may remember the story of my 2012 where the engine had to be rebuilt. And John did that. And the, <clears throat> the engine ran better when I got it back from him than it did the day it came out of the factory. It was, he did a, just an incredible job. And I mean, he, knew, he knows the Goldwing inside and out. And he's just, just a great mechanic. And unfortunately, he's now gone. And I'm not sure where he's going to end up. I uh, did speak with him. I did call him and talk to him. And so right now, I don't know uh, who to trust to work on my Goldwing. Now, getting a set of tires put on shouldn't be a big deal. So I may take the bike back to Maxim Honda, or I may take it out to Al Lamb's uh, Dallas Honda, which is a pretty good drive for me, but I may do it anyway. And the big thing is I like to wait on the bike. I want, I want to take it in in the morning and I'll sit there and wait while they get the tires put on because I, I don't want to have someone follow me and have to drop off the bike and leave it overnight and all that junk. I'd rather just wait on it and ride the bike back home. So what do you do? Do you change your own tires or do you take your, do your bike to a Honda dealer to get the tires changed? How do you do it? Put it in the comments down below. Believe it or not, I do read all the comments. I don't always have a chance to respond to every comment, um, but I do try to read them. I get probably 100 to sometimes over 100 comments a day on my YouTube channel, so I can't respond to every comment, but I do try to read them. And uh, that's what I, one of the things I do in the mornings while I'm having coffee is I sit there with my laptop and I go through all my comments on my YouTube channel and on Facebook and that takes usually an hour or two out of my day just to uh, go through some of the comments. So anyway, I am in my neighborhood now heading home. I want to get home before the rain and the storms start. And check out my new videos coming soon on the Pathfinder LED uh, rear saddlebag lights. They're really cool. I think you're going to love them. Hey, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you on the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs.